game industry. A land where CPUs rule and game mascots live away from the realm of humans. Game industry is ruled by four CPUs who preside over four different nations. CPU Whiteheart rules Louis. CPU Blackheart rules Last Station. CPU Greenheart rules Leanbox. And CPU Purpleheart rules Planet Tune. These four nations struggle for supremacy, and the constant shifts in control make the world stable. Yet, Memories of the deity of sin and her vile scheme are still fresh in game industry's mind. The four nations banded together and successfully thwarted her ambitions. Time passed. And game industry once again became a peaceful realm. That peace did not last long. Now the curtains rise on four CPUs about to engage in a new war. It is high time you receive your comeuppance, Purple Heart. No, Neptune. I've made a terrible mistake. To think the three of you would turn against me. Oh, come on! The whole point is for us to get rid of each other one at a time! It'd be a pain in the ass if you were the last one standing. So we're gonna beat you down first! <sighs> if only Neptune were here, I shouldn't have abandoned her. A bit late for your stupid whining! Get ready to die, bitch! Please rest assured, Neptune. We won't torture you. Expect a clean and instantaneous death. The finishing blow is all mine! I'll never lose. Even against the three of you, I will win! I'll defeat you myself! Cross combination! hurt! It's my turn to- This is the true power of last season CPU! I can go any- I'll give a smashing super dreadnought!
this where I die? I've... Ah! I totally lost you guys! <laughs> One has fallen, and now I shall take care of those who remain. What are you talking about? With Neptune out of the game, you two are just an annoyance. That wasn't fair at all! You all teamed up against me! That's all sorts of illegal! Don't be such a sore loser. Our interests just coincided. That is, killing you off. It's important to reflect on the way you live your life day to day. It might give you a reason why. Ah, uh, I wanted to play too. Sorry, darling sis of mine. It's only a four-player game. It was Netgear's turn, and you ripped the controller away from her! You got what you deserve! Give me ten seconds. I'll finish them up, and we can start again. Pardon me, everyone. Nice timing, Isti! We're out of those chip-flavored crispy thingies. Can you go get more? I prefer something sweet. Why don't we eat the cookies I brought? Not a bad idea. But if we're eating cookies, I prefer a pot of black tea over green. I see. I'll put a fresh pot on right away. Hey! Quit loafing, Isti! Chip chop! Or whatever. Oh, wait, it's rematch time. Stop! Don't just begin the match without telling us! Time for a break. Your casual gaming mantra shines through, whereas my vigilant MMO training gives me infinite stamina. All of you, the time has come to knock it off! Whoa! What's the crocodilio, Isti? Such a small thing raising her voice. It mustn't be good for your heart to get so worked up. Silence! I will raise my voice. Day after day, you four just sit here playing games. Your CPUs! What do you think will happen to our world if the CPUs meant to lead it just fool around? Wh what Isti, are, are you, like, upset? For realsies? Now, now, Istwar. Please calm down. And how do you propose I do that? Nepgear, you are party to this as well. You jump at the chance to give them snacks or tea. You spoil them so much that they do not work. I... I'm so sorry! Hmm. It is painfully clear that Neptune is a lost cause. But you are talented and serious. So why? Well, I mean, um, during the last big battle, everyone was suffering, so I thought I'd be really nice. Darn tootin'! I mean, even CPUs need to take a breather for a bit. I mean, working us harder than this has got to be against some kind of goddess labor law. For a bit? Try years? Sit. Tuck those feet under your legs. Says a style, Mrs. Today is the day I will pound into your thick skulls just what exactly it means to be a CPU. But what? Hang on a sec. Just us two? What about them? Pardon us, Neptune. I believe we shall be taking our leave now. You better not give Eastwar any forehead wrinkles. The wisest one is she who avoids danger. Whoa! You're running away so fast, I'm surprised your legs aren't spinning in mid-air. Pipe down and listen to me. I shall now begin my lecture. The primary duty of any CPU is... Um, well, nice to meet you. Or maybe it's more like... It's been a while, everyone! 
Beast Wars lecture will last for quite some time, so allow me to use this chance to introduce us. First, I'm Neptune's... No, I am my own person, so... I am the CPU candidate of Planetune, Netgear. I'm also Neptune's younger sister. All of the CPU's younger sisters have the title of CPU candidate, really. So that includes... Well, I guess we can go over that later. Oh, but the three CPUs who are just playing with my sister are the leaders of the other nations. Noir's from Last Station, Bert's from Leanbox, and Blonde's from Louis. They argue and quibble a lot, but they're actually real good friends. I think... We're currently getting lectured by Istoir. My sister calls her Isti, but I just say Istoir. She's Planetune's Oracle, and is like our Basilicom's boss. She helps us handle our workload. Supposedly, she's neither human nor goddess, but an artificial super being that knows everything. I'm sorry, I don't really know all the details. Well, the current game industry is really peaceful, so my sister and her friends always play around. Before, when the deity of Sin R4 was revived, our world was nearly destroyed. Back then, my sister and her CPU allies fought really hard for the sake of our future. All I'm trying to say is that, when my sister and her friends try, they can do anything. Maybe. Oops! The lecture's almost over! Sorry to cut off my introductory narrative, but I'll finish later! Is how all CPUs should be. Let us end today's lesson here. She's finally done. Gah! My legs are all tingly and snoring. Can somebody spare me some parallaxin? Wait, Neptune! I can't seem to stand up either. And just how long do you two intend to sit there, like flies on the wall? Um, we just said that our legs are asleep. Isti. Your stories last longer than my whole life. My cute thighs are all jelloey now. Did you learn nothing from my lecture about how a CPU ought to behave and speak? We did! Honest! Then I assume you've both taken a hard look at yourselves and now understand how serious it is, yes? Well, honestly, I kind of drifted off somewhere around the CPU part. That was the whole thing! If you truly understand, then I hope you will put what I said into practice and work hard! <laughs> I never thought you would force us out like that! She was seriously serious, huh? Yes. If we don't get some work done today, she might get even more upset. I guess we have to then. I don't wanna, but let's hoof it a bit and beat stuff up. 